Hello and welcome to the flip side of board games. My name is JT. Um, back in November, I did a Kickstarter roundup showing a bunch of the games I had coming for about approximately six months. It wasn't my entire list of what was coming, um, but it was kind of what I expected up through April. Um, so now that it's April, I decided that I would go back in, we'd take a look, see how we did, and kind of show you a few games really quick. I'm going to do this in two parts. The first part is I'm going to go over those 20 games that we talked about in November. And then I'm going to do a second video of the anticipated games coming up until September. Again, that will be everything coming to me, just everything that is expected to deliver by September. Um, of the 20 games that we talked about last time, I said that we'd have 12 that would probably show up. And I had 13, so not too bad. Uh, first one on the list, a couple of these we're not going to talk about very long because we'll talk about them in the next video. First thing we talked about last time was Hell the Last Saga. We'll save that. Darkest Dungeon. Wave 2. We'll save that as well. The next one we talked about was the ISS Vanguard expansions, which I have right here. Um, they showed up just about when we expected them to show up. Uh, Deadly Frontiers and Lost Fleet. Uh, haven't played them yet, but I love ISS Vanguard. Super excited about these. Um, just more goodness, I hope. So we'll put those down here. And then my next one after that would be Divinus. I got the Chest of Plenty not too long ago. I actually did an unboxing with my daughter. We haven't started playing yet. Gorgeous art. Really excited to get this one to the table and see what it's like. The next one on the list was Marvel Zombies. Um, if anybody that's been watching the channel, I've whined about not getting my Marvel Zombies all in stuff um, for a long time. Most of last year, we played early on in the year with a retail copy, but I finally got all the rest of my stuff. It's here, it's over there, I think it's over there. Um, first time we got this to the table, my wife and I played it like 12 times in a row before we pulled it off the table. So, it was 100% worth watching and waiting for. So, Marvel Zombies showed up as expected. The next one on the list we talked about was Unsettled. We have done a play of Unsettled on the channel. And uh, I've played several of the planets since, and before that, I guess, I've played quite a few times. Uh, it's a really interesting puzzle, a uh, really interesting game with no combat mechanics. Uh, you're just trying to figure out the puzzle of the planets, and each planet has different scenarios that you can do on them. It's quite a fun game. Um, go check out the playthrough. Looking forward to playing this one more. I'm going to stick it right over here. Next one on my list is the Dark Quarter. I backed it in May of 2022, and uh, was hoping it would be here before April. Um, now it's been pushed back a little bit further. We'll talk about that in the next video. The next one on the list that we talked about back in November was 20 Strong. 20 Strong is a really cool game, really interesting dynamic, um, all these beautiful dice. You might have seen some playthroughs and stuff. Not for me. I haven't done a playthrough of this on the channel. But um, and, the, and the cards, all of them being foiled and everything else. Um, and then just beautiful backs and things like that. So um, really neat artwork. Really neat cards. A uh, really fun game. I'm glad I got this one. Uh, funny enough, the dice still smell like oil. Not very often do you get a game... That has a distinct smell to it. These still smell like oil. I have wiped them. I have cleaned them. Um, but at least they're, uh, at least we know they're clean, I guess. The next one on my list that we talked about back in November was Kings of Ruin, Tainted Grail. I know it is fulfilling now. I don't know if it's fulfilled to everybody. I haven't started this yet. But I really love the premise behind it. I really love these dark kind of worlds. I'm a role player. 
um, I like that exploration and everything else. So I'm really excited to get into this one. So it, it did show up as expected. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, next one on my list was Wonderland's War. Now, I think I probably already told you about this one, but Wonderland's War, second uh, edition, second print with the expansion in it. Um, I had the retail copy, and I really wanted all the goodies, so I got them. All these poker chips. Nice chips with all the graphics on them. Um, these are going to be awesome to pull out of a bag uh, for anybody who gets to play them. Um, yeah, so this is awesome. Finally got the chips. I know they were out of stock. You know, there's a lot of cool things that come in the Kickstarter edition. You know, all your factions have their own special buildings. And then all of the Wonderlandians have their own miniatures. So, pretty darn cool, man. So definitely excited when this one came in. Um, such a cool game. Next one on my list. iPad decided to shut off on me. The next one on my list is Guild Academies of Valeria. This one did show up. Um, as prescribed, Guild Academies of Valeria is kind of in that same vein as Shadow Kingdom of, of Valeria. Um, except for in this one, you're building uh, your own little, you're building your own little school, university. You're bringing in students, putting professors with them, um, and eventually getting points for for graduating them and for making the high council happy and everything else. So, Guild Academies of Valeria, really cool game. Looking forward to playing it more. The next one on my list that we talked about was Foundations of Rome. I think I said on early on that. You know, when I first saw Foundations of Rome, I thought, who the heck needs this giant box? Then I played it. And then I needed the giant box. This giant box has the expansions in it. It also has, or it has all of your trays in it, personal trays, really awesome. Um, I did get the sun drop version just because those buildings... Look pretty amazing. Sun dropped. Um, look quite awesome. So I did get the sun dropped version. Played it a couple times already. This one's only been here for a couple of weeks now. You look at some of these monuments. These monuments are quite amazing. Again, all sun dropped. Look at that. That is some of the coolest table presents that you're ever going to find. Just amazing. The details on these little tiny things. You're just like, next time you get a miniatures game and you're like, oh, the details are hard on these small things. Look at these. these the details on these are fantastic. So, and if, for those of you who haven't seen the inside, that's what the inside looks like. Um, you just pull out a couple of trays, and you're ready to play. One thing to note, my box got completely smashed in transit, and I've asked um, for a little bit of help on that from the uh, developer. So hopefully I'll get a replacement box soon. Next one on the list that we talked about back in November, uh -oh, my thing's going to fall over here, was Fractured Sky. Fractured Sky we have a playthrough of. Really cool game. Um, bidding. You're trying to get these little sky shards. You're bidding on areas. Hidden bidding um, throughout. Um, you're also able to upgrade the map with your little marketplaces and, and tower buildings so that they help you um, with that area control and with your hidden bidding. But really cool game. Go check it out. Beautiful components. I'm super happy with it. Next one we talked about was Hero Realms Dungeons. I thought it was going to be here in February. At least that's when it was scheduled for. Don't have it yet. We'll talk about it in the next video. The next one we talked about in November was Skyrise. 
I just received this. Again, made it in the nick of time. It also came with the uh, deluxe copy of Radlands, which I'd been waiting for the deluxe copy for, but it was out. Um, but again, another game with production that is off the chain. Um, kind of another one of those games where you're bidding for placement within the world. You're bidding for placement on these spots. All of your buildings have a number on the bottom, and then they have these cool, cool little buildings. So you're going to go around and you're going to bid, and whoever bids the highest during the round gets to flip their building over and now controls, now has that spot. So um, gorgeous components. Every building is different. Every faction's buildings are different. Different colors, different sizes and shapes. Um, quite cool. I don't know if you can see that over there, but quite cool indeed. Uh, haven't played this one. In fact, the rule book is upstairs. I'm learning the rules um, to maybe, hopefully, play this weekend. But pretty excited about this. So that Skyrise just made it in time. To, to not be lambasted for being late again. It was pretty late as, as it was. I believe it was probably close to eight months late. So I'm happy to have it here finally. Next one on the list we talked about back then was Marvel United Multiverse. Um, that was scheduled to arrive in March. It has since been pushed. We'll talk about that in the next video. I think until about July is where we're estimating right now. But next one on the list we talked about in November, or yeah, that we talked about in November was Galactic Renaissance. Galactic Renaissance, I have not played yet. Truth is, I haven't read the rules yet. But so freaking cool. Again, beautiful components. I can't tell you a ton about the game. There's going to be planets out there that you have to go through these different shaped portals to get to. Um, is you're sending out your envoys. There's no real combat or anything else, but a planet only has so many spaces on it for control. If there's more people there than there are spaces, then the planet goes into unrest. And one by one, you have to start pulling off people. So even if you're not going to have control there, you may overload it just to reduce the control of somebody else. So Galactic Renaissance, really happy to have this one too. Can't wait to get it played. Actually, I wanted to say something about Galactic Renaissance. Out of all the games that I've gotten in the past year or two, you guys are all probably kind of been in the same boat. This is the first one that's come on, come to me the same month that it was expected to come to me when they did the Kickstarter. So when they did the crowdfunding for that, they said it was coming in March of 24, and in March of 24 it showed up. That is an enormous rarity. Um, next one on my list that we talked about last time was Sea of Legends. I was hoping that would be here in March. I just got my, um, my confirmation of address like a week ago. I'm expecting this probably to show up in May. The last one on my list that actually showed up was Stone Spine Architects. Now, we've already played a, a demo copy of this on the channel. Go check it out. It's really cool. You're making a tableau, a little dungeon. You're trying to connect your entrance to your exit. You're trying to collect different amounts of creatures in there, different types of creatures and traps and, and things like that. You're also trying to match a layout card that you start with in the beginning of the game. A lot of different things going on. You're close hand drafting these cards as you go. Um, really cool game. Check it out. Stone Spine Architects. I have to say, this is the second game in two years that's landed when it was supposed to land. Big props to Thunderwork Games. Um, the last one we talked about in November was Batman Escape from Arkham. Um, I had that slated to show up in April. Uh, it's not here yet. So, anyways, that is the first part of this list. The 20 games that we talked about in November that I thought that I may have or that I should have by April. And unfortunately, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those 
didn't make it. But like I said, I expected 12. I got 13. Look forward to the next video where I talk about what's coming to me or what should be coming to me by September. So until then, have fun, play good games, and we will see you on the flip side. Take care.